Welcome back. I'm Jack Duckworth. <laughs> and I'm Vera Duckworth. Hello, Chuck. Oh, very good. Never seen it. Very good. <laughs> Hey, Vera, we've got some right riff-raffing tonight. Ah, uh, there's, there's Jason. He likes rummaging around up women's bits. <laughs> but at least we've got... Why do I've gone cocky now? <laughs> <laughs> like I was something else. <laughs> but at least we've got one of our favourite regulars in tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Deirdre Rashid in Coronation Street and congrats! <laughs> Oh, you're very welcome. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. Very good. <laughs> oh, so I can't believe Deirdre's here. <laughs> Deirdre's here. <laughs> now, it's all right to call you Annie, isn't it? Absolutely. All right, yes, good. Yes. No, because I saw... Did you all see that documentary, The Deirdre and Me? Yeah. Documentary. It's good, wasn't it? So we know you're Annie. Absolutely. Annie. And now, this wasn't in. This wasn't in the documentary, the, uh, the Deirdre and Me documentary. But is it now that you're around on the set as kind of... Um, what is it? Is it BST? Big sex tease. <laughs> no. Not the divert. Oh, pissy. Um, <laughs> I ask all my guests that. It just normally gets cut out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in case it's true and they say something really damaging to themselves. But but no, maybe this isn't true then either. That um that one that your knickers ended up in a boss's pocket. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh. <laughs> For you. We're back on track, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> how, how did that happen? Well, it was uh, we were having this big party. It was the 2000th episode or something, and we were at Mottram Hall, and we'd all got dressed up, and they got they took us on a coach. And <laughs> <Best class. laughs> yes, oh yes. <laughs> none of your Oscars, none of your stretch limo. <laughs> <laughs> and I got this dress on, which was kind of it, it was quite fitted, and you could see my knicker line. So Fred Feast said take your knickers off. So I thought, fair enough. And... <laughs> I didn't look better. I mean, you couldn't tell I got no knickers on. You just couldn't see the knicker line. So Fred looked after them for me. And um, <laughs> at some point in the evening, uh, we had this floor manager called John de Coverley. He was very sort of like that. And uh, he managed to slip these knickers in John de Coverley's pocket. And then later in the evening, he was dancing with his wife. <gasps> and he, he went in his pocket to get his handkerchief out. Now came my knicker. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I have to say, I have to, of all, it's like ten men over the over the. Is it? Have you been thirty years? You've been in it this 30 year. Thirty years. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> I mean, that's. So weird. I mean, yeah. That is just your life. It's <laughs> no wonder I'm mad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but now I have to do of all the men, of all the men you've had, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here's someone we haven't seen on television for some time. I give you Samir Rashid, oh. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh look at him. Actually it looks like you're on this same. set. <laughs> <laughs> Samir Rashid. Hey. Oh, what happened to him? I know he died. Yes. He died. Oh. Not in life. <coughs> no, no. I don't, I don't know what's happened. Would we hopefully went, no, he is dead, No, right? no. <laughs> <laughs> Phone call. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awful. Yeah. No, he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure he's alive and working in Turkey. Because yeah. um, <laughs> he was from somewhere, wasn't he? Um, but he wasn't putting that accent on. Oh, yes, he was, yes. Yeah, he talked like that, really. <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking? No, he said it was a put-on accent. He was acting. You're kidding. He was acting. <laughs> oh, now, see, all afternoon we've been mocking him. Now I'm thinking, give him an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, I did think, I did think, if, if, it, he would have lived, I think, if you'd got together when you still had your beautiful perm. Oh. <laughs> Because <laughs> your heads would have stuck together like Velcro. It would, wouldn't they? Yes. <laughs> or they'd have to be in from the salon to separate you. Uh, I thought it was great. I've always wanted curly hair. And my God, you got it. I know. 
Clearly, though, I was happy with that. I loved it. But <laughs> now, listen, listen. Uh, we must move on. But, 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 uh, I want. What I want to do right now is I want to pick someone in the audience to go out with webcam for our special Beauty and the Beast game. You see, I'm picking the theme there. Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, come now, lovely Linda, over to our dart cam board. We'll be back with you in one second, Danny. Yes, sure. Off you come. You stand in there. You stand in there. You've all seen this before. You understand everyone in the audience brought in pictures of themselves. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is oh, our gallery of fools. Yeah. Ooh. And, uh, of course, in honor of Linda, tonight it is Terminator Cam. Do you see? <laughs> Terminator Dog, isn't that so cute? Uh, let's see who we've got. Anybody up here? Oh, this is such a good picture. Are you drunk? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how drunk is that man? Oh, or how drunk, how drunk is that woman? <laughs> okay, so anyone you want now? There's quite a bit of nudity up there. Do okay. I aim for one? Oh, no, you're ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> most, people just, most people just try to get the dart in. But no, certainly, feel free to aim. All right, stand back, everybody. OK. Oh, oh, God. Oh, see, Jesus. I think it's allowed. She's knocked the picture off. Surely that's the same. Adjudicator, yes, they say it's fine. <laughs> right. Uh, well done. Very good. So now, who's this person? You. She's awake. Stand up. Stand up. Hello. What's your name? Maria. Maria. Maria's awake now. <laughs> was it just a drinking thing? I was drunk, yes. Yes, in fairness, Very. you were. <laughs> uh, right. So, Maria, what I want you to do, I want you to go out in the street and to find me some contestants for our Beauty or Beast competition. Uh, now, Simon will show you out, and there's a fast car waiting to take you away. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Fast car, get in it now. There you go. Well done, Maria. Very good. But you're probably asking yourselves, who drove that fast car here in the first place? I'll tell you who. It's that sexy Formula One speedster, ladies and gentlemen, Grand Prix winner, Eddie Irvine! <laughs> Sit yourself down. You're very welcome, Mr. Irvine. Thank you. Thank now, because you. I haven't met you before at all. No. Have I? Not that I Only you were looking at me funny like I had. <laughs> I seen you actually. The first time I seen you was a couple of weeks ago actually. Your show in, when I was in Miami. You're on, what is it, BBC America. America? Have you seen him on BBC America? No. The only reason I stopped. <laughs> no, can I just say, I'm impressed on so many levels. He was in Miami, and I was on television there. Uh, <laughs> Well, she's not. She's got three legs. She's not. Right. No, it's a bit. Well, actually, I don't know what's wrong with your chair there now. Oh, oh, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big budget show, eh? <laughs> it's got three legs now. <laughs> don't worry, I'll just lean this here. <laughs> so, uh, look. Oh, we've got all oh, the. No. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Take that one away. There you go. And we'll pop you down there. There's a nice, nice other chair for you. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, this looks very like having people around your house, doesn't it? <laughs> Too many people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll get another chair from the kitchen. <laughs> uh, we'll have to give it very quick now because it looks odd. Uh, right. <laughs> But well, that's well. I'm glad you're watching the show in America. Are you all right there now? You come fine. Yes, fine. You sit in those very uncomfortable cars. This must be luxury for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, to be honest, and I have to be honest, I I didn't know that much about the Formula One racing. It's a very manly sport. It is, and and well, I I, I can't even drive a regular car, so you can imagine. Uh, so what I did, I got your book. Oh my god. I, no, I did. No, it's, it's really good. Eddie Irvine. Eddie Irvine. Now, I have to say, I was slightly upset because I thought it was actually called Eddie Irvine Gripping. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but turned out that was just a, 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 a review from the Irish News. But now, the other thing I've noticed reading your thing is you're quite outspoken, aren't you? I'm Irish. We have an opinion. I know. That was not an answer, wasn't Irish it? Irish always have an opinion. Spoken. 
<laughs> well, I was going to lie. I was going to lie. Because <laughs> well, did you really call Claudia Schiffer, did you really say that thing about Claudia Schiffer being as fat and ugly as a pig? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I... It was... Did she knock you back, Eddie? <laughs> no, it was... Um, it was... It was um, a, co a full conversation that explained the whole situation, and they, you know... You were discussing a, a beautiful pig that you desired. <laughs> <laughs> and they turned it a little bit. That was the news of the world or something, you can't believe that. No, that's rubbish. Rubbish. And, uh, for, you, know, you, want, you with your money, you like buying houses, don't you? I, 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 do. I live in them. Which house was it that you were away from and your friend uh, went to visit it? And it was like kind of the Marie Celeste, you just walked out. Because you're not very good at the, the cleaning I've up. I've done that. Anything. Oh, that was a house I was renting years and years ago. I've never been burgled in my life, so I never had the feeling to lock my doors. And I hate to find the keys, because I always lose the keys, so it's better just to leave them open. I shouldn't say that, because someone's probably burgling me <laughs> as I speak. <laughs> but friends have come round and then called the police because they thought you'd been broken into. They were so that, messy. That was my parents' house, because they... No, the police looked in, they thought we'd been broken into because they were searching around the house and they seen my room and they just assumed that it had been... <laughs> that's what... I didn't have a girlfriend at the time, that's what girlfriends are for. Oh, wait, then... <laughs> <laughs> Claudia Schiffer, fat and ugly as a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get your house tidy that way. Um, but the, the, it was the one friend who came in and found all the doors and windows unlocked, uh, dirty water in the bath, and this is the detail I really like. A Frey Buntos pie on that a low heat in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> that was... I lived on Frey because I had a friend who used to work... or his <laughs> friend worked for Frey Bentless. I liked the pies, he liked the puddings, so I kept all the, the pies and he ate all the puddings and I forgot about one one day. I think America's been spared the Frey Bentos pie. <laughs> yes. I don't think the meat's as good as it used to be, though. No. 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 <laughs> It sounds a little bit more... It's a bit fattier than You're it You're just be. rich. That's your problem. <laughs> You've eaten in too many nice restaurants. Other people are eating it right now, going, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, listen, um, before, now, uh, what I've got to do now, because um, there is a commercial break coming up, but before, I don't know if you saw, but lovely... Was it Maria, the drunk woman? It was going, yeah. Uh, uh, so, Maria, we sent her out with webcam. So, uh, we've got to check up on her now. Actually, that's if she's there, because um, we were sending her up to Covent Garden. Has she arrived to play the Beauty or Beast game? Here we go. Maria? Hello. 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 Are, you, are you ready to play Beauty yeah. and Beast? Yes, I'm ready to play. So, this is how it works. We go to each contestant, and we each have to guess from the neck down whether there'll be a beauty or a beast. <laughs> Maria then pulls the bag off their head and we see whether they were right or not. <laughs> it's quite a good game, this, isn't it? <laughs> One of them's Claudia Schiffer. Uh, <laughs> OK, Maria? Yes? Maria, yep. go to number one. I'm walking over to number one. OK, so we have to decide whether number one... Can we just pull back a bit so we can see the full... You know, shoes are important too. Uh, right. Uh, shoes, nice watch detail, quite a zippy, lovely top. What do you reckon? Is that man a beauty or a beast? Beast! <laughs> that was conclusive. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maria, do you think he's a beast? I think he's a definite beast. <laughs> OK. Is he a beast? <gasps> Not at all! <laughs> well, ish. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next contestant. Oh, na. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the game's quite easy now. Uh, 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 you know the word to give them. Beauty. <laughs> you lost your mind, Maria. Are you drunk again? <laughs> <laughs> Take the bag off. To the next one. <laughs> Very last one. Surely we've had such a kennel club of Great Britain. This must be a beauty. It's a definite beast. <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> They're the feet of a beast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the audience have decided beast. They are beast. I can't believe it myself. Uh, Is it a beauty? Is it a beast? <laughs> it's a. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the audience has spoken. <laughs> I think you're beautiful, sir. You're beautiful. Thank you, Maria. We'll see you later. Come on. And that's it. Join me, Linda, and Lady in part three. We'll be looking at these Christmas gifts and saying thanks for nothing. I'll see you after the break. Cheers. Bye. -bye. Standing beside you. I see, I know what's inside. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 